Tim, we've been to your machine shop, you've got your foundry, you've got some fantastic machines, but today what I want to do is find out more about this. So you've got a close association with Ford, is that right? Yeah, we've been working with Ford for, crikey, since early 2000. Uh, and we came up with a concept for an all-wheel drive transmission and with a lot of work with Ford designers, uh, a product actually started coming off the production line in 2007 and we've been going through various iterations as the vans changed, the engines changed and we've been improving the, the uh, quality and the uh, performance of this transmission. Uh, so yes, our association with Ford goes back a long way. So they came, they came up with initial concept stroke design, but you've added to that or helped in that design? Yeah, we've helped them with the design. Uh, we've got a, a very clever man that understands transmissions and he's worked with the Ford uh, designers and engineers to come up with a solution so that the transit vans have got an off-road capability. Okay, so that's the first, sort of first stage, any design and adding that value. Second stage, you've got your foundry, so I'm presuming this, this all went through that. Yeah, this particular product initially uh, had patterns made and we did prototype castings for them in the sand foundry, uh, did the machining for them and then once the concept was proven uh, we went into production on a gravity die casting machine. Can I just, just for clarification, so sand casting, gravity type, what's, what's the difference? Yeah, the difference is that for a sand casting you're making an individual mould in sand, so you're using a wooden pattern or a resin pattern, burying that in sand taking the sand mould apart, removing the pattern, and then doing a 3D jigsaw puzzle of sand pieces to make the casting. But you only get one casting per mould. Then, at more expense on the tooling, but at a lower unit cost, you can go to gravity die casting, which is a permanent metal mould, which you can use repetition for making more and more castings out of the same machinery. So, much larger batterons, but initially more expensive, but ultimately long term, more cost effective. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. so you get the unit price down. Right. So all these components here essentially, all cast at your foundry? Yes, uh, well the main case, the two end covers and the intermediate, those are ours, and this is the original uh, vehicle component that we have to bolt onto. So, it's cast and then in aluminium? It's cast in aluminium, yep. Yeah. Uh, we heat treat it on site so we improve the properties of the aluminium and then it goes into our machine shop where we do the finished machining. And then the whole thing then is shipped up to Liverpool where they build it into the finished transmission, put all the gears in and then that is sent off to Turkey where they actually build the vans. And it's a choice on the, on the production line, you buy either a standard transmission or they'll select this gearbox when they want an all-wheel drive uh, vehicle. Okay, so in terms of the machine, what machine are you actually um, utilising for this? Yeah, we've got a couple of Hellers, a couple of MCI 16s uh, that we've had since 2006, 7. Uh, really good, reliable machines. Heller do a good job for us on the maintenance, and they get through about 80 units a week. Oh, so it sounds like a really impressive machine, machine shop and foundry. So just in quick summary, Ford Transit and, and your association. Yeah, a long-standing uh, association with Ford uh, on the design, on the casting and on the machining of this all-wheel drive transmission for transit vans. So offering a whole solution. Tim, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much.